Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Kevin Hogan. I'm content director for Tech and Learning Magazine. And with me today is Dean Shersky. Dean, um, you have been a longtime advisor to, to Tech and Learning. How many years does that go back now, do you think? Uh, I'm thinking five. That's five, think. okay. And yeah, I know you, you've spoken at many Tech and Learning live events, and we've used uh, plenty of your blog posts, and uh, it's just been a, a great help for us to, to figure out what the latest and greatest is in, in ed tech. And I'm also just really glad that you agreed to uh, talk with us a little bit today about uh, ISTE 2016. Are you looking forward to Denver? Yeah, always am. Always am. Uh, it'll be my ninth uh, ISTE event in a row. So, um, yeah, it just sort of works as, as just a great event to go to. And uh, when you think about those past nine years um, and where education technology has come from and, and, and where it's going to, Talk a little bit about, uh, I know you're going to be doing at least, uh, I think, three sessions, right, during the event? Yeah, three sessions. Um, what were the topics that, that you selected and, and why uh, did you select them? Well, of course, the way the ISTE, ISTE proposal works is you send in, sometimes you send in a lot and you sort of aren't sure sort of what, where, how things are balanced. But, I mean, I, mean, I, I typically tend to push things or, or suggest things that I'm interested in. Um, as opposed to trying to figure out the what the uh, what the secret formula is for getting accepted, fortunately enough to get three. But um, so the sessions that I'm doing, um, one of is as I've been doing quite a bit in, in my own work, and it's called Five Minutes of Creativity, which is really um, uh, um, a way to address the issue of creativity being a buzz. It's in every, it's in you know uh, districts are starting to use it as part of their big goals. But it becomes one of these terms that what does that actually mean and is and, and, and how do we how do we actually begin to implement it in ways that are um, simple yet powerful for teachers and so really being intentional about the idea of creativity in these in five minute chunks that really are easy to implement regardless of your technology situation so that's really uh, an important area that that I know resonates with people and it's really some clean takeaways for folks to uh, implement in their classroom um, the other session. I'm doing the other two are, are somewhat related, but uh, one is 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 a rethinking digital citizenship, which that's been a conversation at uh, at events like ISTE for a long time now, and I'm still I'm still a little bit concerned with the fact that uh, there tends to be an overemphasis on the sort of uh, don't do bad things kind of conversation to to students, and I and uh, along with that in trying to make the metaphor that's that. Uh, Digital citizenship is no different than citizenship. So if we talk about citizenship, how to be a good citizen, let's start with that premise. And then let's look at what makes you a good citizen and then attach what that looks like in a digital context as well. So uh, that's kind of the rethinking around that. And I, and I think it uh, hopefully it helps teachers change the conversation in schools around just let's be scared and, and not do bad things and put things online, that whole thing. Right. And then, and then finally, the last session I'm doing is, uh, is this real or fake, which is a really fun one, I think, in looking at how to, you know, how to tell if something online is, is true or real. Now, uh, you know, and I actually start with looking at it, if you recall, and we're going way back here in EdTech history, Kathy Schrock developed a lot of great material back probably 15 or 20 years ago, and using uh, way back, the Wayback Machine, I've pulled, archived some of that old stuff. Which um, there were some good things in there, but but uh, you know even as technology has changed, you know looking at uh, how do you determine if a video is real or fake, those kinds of things, and really developing more of a disposition around that idea of of being critical of everything, and uh, and yet combining that with some practical ways that teachers can start thinking about implementing implementing those dispositions with their students. Right. What's interesting to me is that in each of your sessions. Um, while technology is kind of inherent in each in each of them, it's not up front. It's almost kind of now an understanding that the, the technology is 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 there and is in house. Where maybe five years ago, we would have talked about how to get some of these tools into into a classroom in the first place. Is that is that a fair assessment? Well, it is, and I, I actually have to be really careful sometimes to make sure that people understand that. Oh, there is some technology. Uh, you know, we used to do things where we'd start with, here's a bunch of really cool tech things 
uh, maybe there's some applications for teaching and learning as opposed to let's start with teaching and learning and then see how tech works with this. But again, yeah, like a lot of the things that I share, um, yeah, it is, it is, I guess it is sort of embedded into the practice because, you know, folks like us, you know, use technology every day and, and it is as Chris Lehman often talks about, you know, it, it's just sort of ubiquitous. It's, it's just, it's just there, but sometimes yeah. you, you do need to draw it out and make it explicit so that people say, Oh yeah, I get that connection. So yeah, it's, it's a little different, a little different approach in 2016. And, and what, what do you hope, um, you know, attendees who are coming to your session will be walking away with? Is it some, uh, is it a piece of inspiration? Is it a uh, practical application? Both? I mean, what's, what's the, um, what's going to be the big draw well, for each of those? Well, you know, and, and I, I've, over the years, I've actually come to, to be, um, to change in some of the ways I think, because early on in, in, um, in sort of my ISTE experience or, or ed tech, world you know I, yeah i do dove into the tech but i was very quickly interested in deeper conversations and i was often critical of places like ISTE or other conferences for not having those deep conversations uh and yet at the same time I, i've kind of changed that in the sense that listen i'm only with people for an hour and i don't know these people they really don't know me to try an hour with a stranger and a group of strangers uh that kind of conversation but i i do want that to be a catalyst for deeper conversations. And so what I hope people take away with, I do want to give them some practical things because I mean, they're there for an hour. They want to be able to say, Hey, there's three things I can do in my classroom. They, they have to have that. But, but couched around that is, but I want you also to go away and think about some of these deeper conversations and connect with the people here, connect with people back in your own jurisdiction um, to advance and continue these conversations. And then even, you know, uh, selfishly connect back with me around, Tell me how this works and tell me, tell me what I missed and what I've got wrong. But to, to try to accomplish all of that in an hour, that's not fair to anyone. And so um, I, I've changed that and, and I've, I'm le a lot less critical of conferences now that have, even the conferences that have, you know, uh, 50 minutes or whatever things, which yeah, yeah. in some ways is kind of crazy. But I get it, right? Like it's an hour. Like let's, let's be fair to, 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 uh, to that context. Great. Well, I think, uh, so you have one on, on Monday and two on Tuesday, I believe. Um, and I would suggest our readers just go up to uh, isti.org and go through the program. They have a, a pretty slick uh, program site where you can, as you're preparing your, your, your session and your agendas for the day, uh, look for Dean uh, on both Monday afternoon and Tuesday afternoon. And Dean, thanks very much. Hey, I appreciate it. Looking forward to it. All right. See you in Denver. Thanks again. Thank you. See you.